Okay, so this morning I was going to work and I was uh, I boarded a bus, a space bus actually, and I was at the front. And all of a sudden, the driver just uh, sneezed. He did it the first time. I was like, huh? What is that? If you do it again, I was thinking in my mind anyway. I was like, if you do it again, I am so getting out of this vehicle. You know what I'm thinking. Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from all over the world. Before I proceed, before I continue, I have a very important question for you. Have you subscribed to this channel? Yes, thank you. No? Okay. Thank you in advance, but quickly click on the subscribe button down there below the video so that anytime I post a video, you're going to get the notification or at least see it on your timeline okay now so today i just want to talk about uh, this coronavirus thing you know just watching it happen in china in other some other countries and you're like well thank god it's not in nigeria yet and you're feeling safe and all of a sudden you just wake up one morning and you you open your you know your phone your tv you buy a newspaper and you see that um the coronavirus is in nigeria it happened that one man, he didn't know he had a virus before traveling and he got to the country after a couple of days, he got sick and that was how my country people was thrown, uh, were thrown into a panic. All right. And that day, after reading the news and stuff, I was just doing some chores and I was thinking and immediately it came to my mind that pray with psalm 91 now we have the promises of god for us we have a lot of promises that god has made for us and protecting us from from sickness from infirmities from pestilence is part of it now i know that we may be panicking like we are now afraid to shake people when you see somebody sneeze close to you and the person is doing it like two to three times you begin to look at the person or even some people will just run away they will run they will leave the person there but as believers as christians what should be our response our first response is to trust in god remember that that the bible says some trust in chariots some in horses but we trust in the name in the lord our god now the first response as a believer is for us to trust in the Lord, to believe that the God that has been protecting us is going to continue to protect to protect us even up to now, coronavirus or not. The Bible says that we've been given a name that is greater than any other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee, every knee, coronavirus or Ebola or all of them, you know, it is not only principalities, it is not only the devil or demons that will bow, but even sicknesses and infirmities, they will bow to the name of Jesus. And as you abide in God and, and, and you abide in Jesus, also allow the word of God to abide in you. I, I will encourage us to, if you've not done it, read and meditate on Psalm 91. I'm not saying pray and uh, or read Psalm 91 inside a cup of water and drink it or bathe with it. No, I'm not saying read it seven times. I am saying read it so that the word of God will abide in you, so that you will refresh your heart, you will refresh your mind, that there are promises of God concerning you and you don't need to fear coronavirus or anything that may want to come your way at this moment you don't need to fear at all all you just need to do is to trust in the lord now coronavirus is here it's in the world now in a lot of countries as at yesterday a, a report i saw yesterday said uh the virus is in about 53 countries of the world now that is majority of countries a lot of countries have are, are, are dealing with coronavirus Although we may be afraid, we may be panicking, but remember that you don't even need coronavirus for you to die. That is the truth. Before coronavirus, people have been dying. After coronavirus, people will still die. Mm? And if God has been protecting you, he, pro he has protected you from accidents, from different types of diseases. He has protected you from a lot of things, from dangers. Do you think He's not going to protect you from this one too? So that is why, as believers, when you find yourself 
becoming G3. Maybe you just watch the TV. To be sincere, the media, the media, the media are trying, but at the same time, they are creating panic in the heart of a lot of people with the report. We won't say don't report. I'm a media person, but at the same time, if you're focusing so much on the media, if you wake up in the morning, you pick your phone, you read. You read news. You you you're in the maybe you're you're going to work. You're reading news. You're reading blogs. You get to your office or to your place of work and you're watching TV. You are doing all that. You're gonna be jittery. If you're reading the news more than you're reading the scripture, if you're not refreshing your mind concerning the promises of God, you're definitely gonna become jittery. But when you when you when you read the news, you know what is happening, and at the same time, you're studying the scripture and you're you're refreshing your mind. Hmm. You are, you are building up your faith in the reality of the work that Jesus has done for you. Then you will be strong against whatever it is that is happening. And now, this is it. As you are reading the scripture and as you are praying, at the same time, be careful too. At the same time, take precautions. Wash your hands always. Anytime you go out, you come back. As many times as you can, wash your hands. And as you are washing and as you are taking care of yourself, you're taking your vitamins, you're resting well, you're protecting yourself. Also trust God to also protect you. The, the, the point of the matter is don't be afraid. Don't be like, you're not, you're not like the rest of the people that will be panicking and stuff. Mm? As a, and, and, and at the same time, I was just thinking about this this morning that this is one of the reasons we need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit has been leading us out of danger, He is going to continue to do it now too. Maybe you want to go to one place, you want to go to somewhere, and the Holy Spirit is telling you, don't go, don't go, then don't go. That means that place is not for you at that time. And as you continue to do it, God has, that has been protecting you will continue to protect you. So if, if you are a believer, you're a Christian, and you have not done this, I am charging you, I am pleading with you, go study the scripture go search the scripture especially you can start from psalm 91 pray after reading and uh, let the holy spirit minister to you and comfort you and straighten strengthen your heart and strengthen your heart so that you will know that god is for us remember the bible says that if god be for us who can be against us not even coronavirus not even coronavirus all right, so thank you for coming to this channel. Thank you for visiting this channel today. That's all I have for us. And uh, please kindly subscribe to this channel if you've not done it. And uh, also remember to drop your comments, anything on your mind, and drop your prayers too. Drop your prayers and believe that as you're saying it, as you're typing it, and you're believing in your heart, God will answer it. He will. We trust in him. We trust in him because... It will never fail us. All right, so thank you for visiting this channel today. I remain Folu, and this is Golly Living with Folu. Bye.